What's going on y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're gonna to talk about five texts to send a girl that you like. This is basically gonna be like the opposite of the other video that I did, which is five texts to never send a girl that you like. If you like a girl, you're texting her. It's not in so much the relationship phase, but a girl that you wanna make progress with, then I highly recommend that you send one of these five text messages. Obviously, there are more out there, but these are some of the more common ones that I recommend to my clients. Now, if you send these five text messages, it does not mean that this girl is 100% going to like you back but it does mean that she is more likely to do so. So let's get into the first text message. The first text message, number one, is did you make it home okay? This text message is something that you're gonna send after a date. Maybe we, you guys have been hanging out for a while and then you dropped her off or she got an Uber. Even if it's just a short Uber ride away, basically what you're letting her know is you're letting her know, hey, I hope you got home okay. I'm just checking in to make sure that you're safe. Believe it or not, women do this all the time for each other because as a woman walking through life, it's a little bit more scary than it is for you and me. Uh, basically, she wants to know that you care about her safety and when she's going out, it might not seem like a big deal for you, but for some women it can be very scary, especially when she's going out with like a guy that she doesn't really know all that well. Okay, so for any time that she's by herself going to somewhere, it's a little bit more scary for you and just checking in on her, just gonna let her know that you care about her safety and you like her a lot, that she's gonna really appreciate that. Text number two is, what are you up to this week? Okay, this is something that I send all the time, even for girls that I'm seeing regularly. Okay, basically what you're telling her is you're telling her, hey, I'd like to know what you're up to this week so I can make plans with you. Too often guys will just ask a girl out to a certain day and time and they won't know if that girl's free at that particular time. So when they do it, they get a lot of no's. This is basically going to reduce the amount of no's that you get and you're gonna be able to free time up to do things that you guys can do together. Maybe she's doing something fun that you both can do at the same time, okay? And it's letting you know that you know you kind of care about what she's doing. So typically I'll text her at the beginning of the week, I'll be like, hey, what fun stuff do you got planned for this week? Or what are you up to this week? And she'll tell me she has some stuff throughout uh, you know, maybe Monday and Tuesday. Maybe we can plan something for Wednesday. All right, uh, and if she's really busy, this is, this is like a tough week, then maybe we can plan something the next week. But it just saves the whole time where it's like she has to turn you down uh, because she's too busy or something like that because you asked what she's up to this week before you asked her out. Text number three is, you'll never guess what happened to me today. Okay, this is basically a variation of the text message of like, how is your day going? It's a little bit more fun than that. Now, typically if you're talking to a girl that you like, a lot of times you wanna know how she's doing or how her day was. Women like it when guys check up on them sometimes. But it can get a little bit boring. If you're just asking her, how was your day? How was your day? Like every single day, she's gonna kind of get sick of it, okay? Wouldn't it be better if you told her what you were doing during the day, maybe share something fun and silly, and then, you know, that's more exciting, more spontaneous, and just portrays a lot of the more attractive qualities that she's probably looking for, and it just makes it more fun for the two of you. So, what I usually like to do is I usually like to say something like, hey, you'll never guess what happened to me today. And then she'll be like, what? And then I'll say, I just found the most bomb taco place in all of Texas. And then maybe I'll send a picture of the taco or something like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be anything too unique or crazy. You don't have to actually have done anything that crazy, but learning how to frame your day, even if you just watch Netflix all day, you could say, oh, I just found the best show or I just found the worst show or whatever it is. Learning it to frame it in a more spontaneous and fun way is a much more attractive way of talking to a girl that she likes. So that's what I would recommend doing. It's a little bit better than just saying that, how was your day or what did you do today type kind of thing. Share something about your day and then ask her how her day is going. Text number four is I love your sense of style. Basically, this is a variation of a compliment. A lot of times when guys see a girl that they like, normally they wanna compliment them on their looks or compliment them on one of the things that they see. A lot of times this can be off-putting for a girl that you're really into. So instead of complimenting her on something that's like she considers to be just something that she was given, compliment her on something that she's taken the time to plan. A lot of women take the time to plan on their style or maybe they don't take any time to plan on their style and that's their style. Either way, it's something that they've put some shape or form of thought into and so complimenting them on that is going to seem a lot better than complimenting them on just their looks or just the first thing that you see or maybe even the first thing that comes to your mind. So I usually like to do this, you can do this off a dating app or you can do this maybe when you first meet somebody. So I usually like to notice certain things about them and then compliment them on 
on that. If you compliment them on those things, that compliment is going to be much more impactful than saying something that's really generic that she's heard a million times and probably gets kind of put off when guys compliment her on that. In fact, the other day I was talking to somebody and I noticed the way that she was talking to an older woman and I said, hey, the way you were talking to that older woman was super sweet. You know, I thought that was awesome. Okay. That kind of compliment was better than 99% of the compliments that she normally gets from other guys because it was thoughtful and it noticed something. I like your sense of style is just a little bit more thoughtful than the generic compliments that she's probably going to get. Okay. Now sometimes you're going to say things like this and she's going to say, well, what do you mean? And that's where you really have to have noticed something about who she is and her sense of style um, to make the compliment really work. Text number five is please tell me you love. And then you can say, please tell me you love dogs. Please tell me you love, uh, I don't know, uh, hiking or please tell me you love pizza. Okay, whatever this is, this could be a date that you're planning, this could be an interest that you guys have, but it just frames it in a much more fun and positive and assertive way of asking her to do something with you. Okay, now if you just say, hey, what do you like to do? That kind of open ended question, she's gonna be like, oh, I don't know, or like maybe she'll list a bunch of random things, but please tell me you love is much more playful, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of fun, it's kind of like got that more man to woman teasing banter. And and it just works a lot better for those types of situations. So whatever your interest is, whatever you want to do with this person, please tell me you love, it's fine. And even if she doesn't love that thing, you can be like, trick question. <laughs> I actually love whatever she's whatever she says. Okay, so if she doesn't like pizza, you say, please tell me you love pizza. And she's like, oh, I actually don't love pizza, I like pasta. You'd be like, trick question, I love pasta too. Uh, and then you guys can go get pasta together, okay? So this is just a fun way of finding out her interests and finding cool stuff for you guys to do together. Okay, cool. Well, those are the five text messages, you guys. Like I said, these are not going to be the sole thing that's going to get her attracted to you, but they're going to help, you know? And if I text a girl that I like, usually I'm saying these things in one shape or form. Now, there's plenty of other things that you can say. In fact, I would recommend that you figure out what works for you. Figure out what text messages you like to send. That's the number one rule of the game, which is you want to text people things that you like sending as opposed to just trying to figure out what they like. Because the number one rule is whatever you feel Feel, she feels. If you're having fun, if you're doing stuff that you like and you connect with people on that, then it's going to be a genuine connection and ultimately that's going to be the best thing even if you're just trying to hook up and have fun. You should be going for what you want in all ways and shapes and forms in life uh, and that's ultimately what's going to make you into the most attractive guy in general anyway. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Most of the people who are watching my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. And look, no one's going to find out that you're subscribed to a guy called The Single Guy. Only you can see that, but it really helps out with my channel. And I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I come out with new videos. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there.